The system presented in this video is a robot used for wrist movement rehabilitation. It uses a gauntlet to collect wrist movements such as flexion, extension, adduction and abduction always working with just one isolated movement at a time. The robot is composed by a cover structure where the arm is put, and the wrist's movement is the only one allowed. Changing the structure attached to the motor will switch the wrist's operation movement of the patient. A DC motor from Maxon Motors is connected to the structure. The manipulator's control is done by an impedance control in the EPOs. The EPOs is connected to the Thorodex module via CAN communication. Windows CE is installed in Thorodex Colibri T20 and you are able to see its interface using a monitor. Games are used in rehabilitation to simulate and analyze the patient without him realizing it. Patient uses the robot to perform a movement and control the game. The game sends the robot an output, and the robot answers to the player via motor feedback. The game has an adaptive system that quickens or slows the game speed, adjusting it to the data collected from the patient that is stored in a database at the same server and used to challenge him according to his limitations. Using the game data, an analysis may be performed by a system in the web in case of rehabilitation at home. The results and the adjusts are then forwarded to the therapist, who returns a feedback to the patient. The game interacts with the patient by displaying the game screen and showing if he is hitting or missing and where he has to go. At the beginning, the game calibrates the maximum range from the patient's wrist movement. This is the catcher, a game developed in Unity, where the fox has to catch the nuts that are falling in different speeds and frequencies. Damn. The patient's name is inserted for a data recording, and the user begins to play. At first, the game runs for evaluation purposes, starting quickly or slowly. Nut speed and frequency may vary every 5 nuts. The system can perform forces in the same direction or against the user's movement, helping a patient who can do the movement by himself or promoting the musculature strengthening. At the end of the game, a database containing all the collected information can be assessed. 